5th graders. Today we are talking about Lesson 17 of the 5th grade textbook, Saints Peter and Paul, the Apostles. George and Sarah are cousins. They are both in 5th grade and they love playing games outside. George likes soccer and Sarah likes dancing. They both love going to church every Sunday. Sarah, George, it's time for bed. Coming, Mom. Mom, can you tell us a story before we go to bed? Of course, I'll tell you a story about two very important saints, St. Peter and St. Paul. Yay, I can't wait to learn about them. Do you both know anything about St. Peter? I know that the name Peter means rock. You're right! His original name was Simon, and Jesus changed his name from Simon to Peter. Peter was the son of Jonah from Galilee, and he had a brother named Andrew, who was also an apostle. I didn't know that Peter had a brother. Yes, he had a brother just like you. Peter was also the witness of the main events in the public life of Jesus. Peter was there at the time of transfiguration of Jesus. He was there at the cure of the daughter of Jairus, and Peter was there when Jesus walked upon the waters. So Peter was there for all of Jesus' public life? Yes, Peter was there for all the major events. Peter was the first apostle to know about the resurrection of Jesus. After the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus gave Peter the special authority to lead the church. Peter was appointed as the head of the church. Was Peter the head of the apostles? Yes, Peter was the head of the twelve apostles. It was Peter who led the early church. Peter spoke as the representative of the apostles. Peter was the apostle who first preached the gospel to the Gentiles. Peter was crucified in Rome in 67 AD under the leadership of Emperor Nero. Was Peter crucified because he was a Christian? Yes, they killed Peter because he was a Christian. The mortals of Peter remain in the Vatican Hills where the Basilica of St. Peter is built. St. Peter was the first Pope. Mom, can you tell us the story about St. Paul? Of course, St. Paul was born at Tarsus in 1 AD. His previous name was Saul. Do you know what Saul means? Saul means that which is asked to God. That's right, George. After his conversion to Christianity, his name was Paul. Do you know what Paul means? Paul means small. Good job, Sarah. Saul, after the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ, swore to wipe out the new Christian church. On the road to Damascus, Saul and his companions were struck down by a blinding light. Saul heard a voice say, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Acts 9, 4, NIV. When Saul asked who was speaking, the voice replied, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. This was the turning point in the life of Paul. Paul left, felt his conversion, and preached the gospel everywhere without fear. St. Paul said, It is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. Do you know when his conversion took place? I think it was around 36 AD. That's right. Do you know who St. Paul is known as? St. Paul is known as the Apostle of the Gentiles. Yes, St. Paul also made three missionary journeys, and there are 14 epistles in the Bible attributed to Paul. St. Paul was persecuted under Emperor Nero around 67 AD. So Saints Peter and Paul were both crucified around 
6780 by Emperor Nero? Yes, they both died around the same time. What did you both learn from St. Peter and St. Paul? St. Peter and Paul bore witness to the Christian life through the life of faith. We too should try to be models of the Christian life and follow Jesus. Yes, let us try to be great models of Christianity for others. Worship. According to the tradition of Antioch, there is great importance given to the apostles of Christ in the liturgy. The feast of Saints Peter and Paul is celebrated in the church on June 29th. The 13-day fast is observed in the Malankar Church in honor of these saints. This is known as the Fast of the Apostles. The Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul is celebrated on January 25th. We commemorate St. Peter on New Sunday, the first Sunday after Easter. We sing the following hymn in honor of St. Peter after the reading of the Gospel. before reading the Epistle of St. Paul. up the church and made her big. They bore witness to the Christian life through their life of faith. We will also become lofty models of Christian life if we hold on to the hands of Jesus, like them, and go forward through our persecutions and our oppositions. Let's do some questions. What are the indications the Bible gives that St. Peter is the head of the apostles. Describe the martyrdom of Saint Peter. From where do we chiefly get knowledge about Saint Paul? Describe the historical background of Saint Paul. How was the conversion of Saint Paul? What was the attitude of St. Paul towards the Christians after his conversion? Describe the missionary seal of St. Paul. Let's do today's Bible verse. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. 
and it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Let's do today's activity. Read the conversion story of St. Paul in Acts chapter 9, verse 1 to 9. Okay, my dear children, time for bed. I'll tell you another story later. Sweet dreams. Good night, Mom. We love, we love you, you and, and can't we can't wait for, wait for another, another story. story.